Home quarantine got you down, running out of things to do and tired of playing same old games. Then you need to watch this video. Hi, this is Sagar from Dream Design Games and we make board games. I know that's nothing new, but hear me out. Even though our film, music and video game industry has changed significantly, our board game industry mostly remains the same. It doesn't matter if you go to a small store or a big mall, you will find the same old board games that you have been seeing for years. There is nothing wrong with these games. We all like them, but I think we deserve more. And with this thought, we started making new and innovative board games. Because we think board games are the still best way to bring family and friends together, start up a lively conversation and have a friendly competition. Turns out there are a lot of people who think like us and love board games as much as we do. So we started playtesting our games in larger group for better feedback. And once we had enough smiling faces who loved our games, we started manufacturing for local markets. With a plan to launch some of them over the summer break. But unfortunately, due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, we couldn't do that. Looking on a brighter side, it gave us a lot of time to come up with new board game ideas and polish out our previous titles. So let me give you a brief info about some of our games. Okay, so this game is called Dreams with a Nightmare. In this game, you play simultaneously in your, both your dreams and in your night. The goal of the game is simple, but not easy. This black ongoing path represents your nightmares, while this circular path represents your dream. You place one of your game pieces in a good night square in your nightmare path and other on a first portal on your dream path. When you roll the dice, you have to play both the game pieces simultaneously. In a nightmare path, you will face different obstacles, the solution for which you will find in a dream. For example, if you landed on a dark night square in a nightmare path, which is this, you will need fire to move forward. If you landed on a nightmare square, you will have to spin this nightmare wheel. The nightmare wheel will assign you a random nightmare. Each nightmare have different conditions that you have to follow in order to progress. Let's say, after spinning the wheel, you have part a queen. The condition for Spider's Queen is that whatever you roll, you have to play half the rolled numbers. So if you roll 6, you have to play 3, if you roll 4, you have to play 2, if you roll 1, well, you can't play. If you want to get rid of the spider, you have to find a bug spray dream card in a dream path. You have to land on a dream square in a dream path to get that particular card. There are different kind of squares in a dream path. A fire square, a switch card square, a dream card square. A guardian angel which protects you from other dreamers or other players from killing you if they landed on a same square as you. There is also dream portals. Dream portals are very useful. They allow you to enter other players dream and steal their items. This is a dreamer card. It will track your nightmares, your guardian angels, your fire throughout the game. It is also an informative card. It tells you about all the conditions for the nightmares and the solutions to defeat them. So this is how the game will progress. You have to overcome all the obstacles in a nightmare path using your dreams to reach the wake up square in a nightmare. The player which reaches final square first wins the game. There is lot more to this game which I can't explain in this particular video. If I did, it won't be a brief one. If you want to know more about this game, please click the given link or just normally search on our YouTube how to play dreams within nightmare then click on this icon. Since our last game was a bit dark, let's move on to more family friendly one. The game is called Interactive Battlefield and it's played between two teams, red and blue. Each team can have two to four members. To start the game, lay out the game board and place each game pieces on 100th health for both team. Each team is given two clue cards. First will always for Pictionary, second for Question. For first clue card, one of the player from the team draws while other tries to guess what he is drawing within a one minute. For question, one of the player asks the question for which the answer should be the given clue card. For each correct answer, the team will earn 10 points. So if you are given one correct and one wrong answer, you will earn 10 points and 0, which you will write on this battle card and put it face up on the game board. Now the second team will play. What makes this game interesting is this risk and reward wheel. This will make your normal task much harder for better rewards. So let's say you have chosen a Pictionary clue card and you think the given clue is very easy. 
If you spin and land on a magnet pen, you have to draw the picture without lifting your pen. The rewards point you earn are mentioned on the wheel. So if you get right after drawing with your left hand, you will earn 20 points to a chosen battle card. So the 10 points for the correct answer plus 20 points for that particular task that you have accomplished. Same goes for the question cards. If you spin the wheel for question cards and you land on two words to say, you have to provide two referential words for the particular clue. For example, you can say cake and candles. So it will be much more easier for a person to guess it's a birthday. If you spin and land on time to rhyme, you have to make up the rhyme for which the answer will be the given clue card. This is how the game will progress throughout the three rounds. Once all the battle cards are placed on the game board, the score will be calculated. Let's say the red team has earned 40 points and the blue team has earned 60. The difference between that is 20 points. So the red team will get 20 damage. The player who manages to get their opponent's health to down to zero wins the game. Our next game is checkout. In this game, you play either as a security officer or as a traveler. As a traveler, you have to take all the illegal items and the banned items throughout the checking point. And as an officer, it, it is your job to stop them. Security officer has different tools to detect the hidden items like scanner, pat down and a sniffer dog. Traveler has two ways to carry his illegal items, in a bag or in a person. On traveler's turn, he will place a small illegal item card inside a bag or a person card and, and place it face down on the game board. Now the security officer will ask him, what are you carrying? The traveler can give a deceiving answer here. Now the security officer has to make a judgment. If he guesses the correct card, he will earn one blue flight token worth one point. If he guesses wrong, the traveler earns that blue flight token worth one point. Now that it is revealed that it is a bag or a person, he will have to use a correct card to detect the hidden item. Let's say a traveler is carrying a bomb. Now if a security officer uses a scanner or a pat down, he won't be able to detect it and it will be passed through the checkout point and he will earn a red flight token worth two points. If a security officer uses a sniffer dog, then he will be able to detect the hidden item and he will earn a red token worth two points. The game is played for two rounds. After first round, the rules are switched. The traveler will now play as a security guard. The security guard will play as a traveler. There are different difficulty levels in the game. You can carry more illegal items to make the game much more difficult or less to make it easier. Between the first and second round, a small mini game is played called mystery box. There are six unique items in a mystery box. One player hides the item while others tries to guess it. Winning the mystery box will earn you special cards. If you earn a mystery box as an officer, you will get a special security card, which will allow you to use two security cards at one time. If you win mystery box as a traveler, you will earn a sneaky traveler card. A sneaky travel card allows you to carry two to three items in a single card. After the both rounds are played, the tokens are calculated. The player who has most token wins the game. Since right now we are not selling these games through the stores, they are a lot cheaper than the printed MRP. We can deliver these games to you anywhere in Nagpur. Keeping the current situation in mind, the games will be thoroughly sanitized, safely handled and well packed. So if you want to buy or have any questions about the games, you can call or WhatsApp me on the given number. You can also send me an email on dreamdesign205 at the rate gmail.com. Thank you for watching, stay home and stay safe.